tail of the tape for this middleweight matchup. Salter, 34, seven years the elder of the dangerous Dutchman. You can see with the record, both guys are outstanding. And Stenis with that reach advantage will try to utilize it in his stand-up. Once again, here he is, the voice, Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, Bellator MMA live on Paramount Network from Windstar World Casino and Resort. The time has come for the main event of the evening. Three five-minute rounds in the middleweight division. Sanctioned by the Chickasaw Nation Office of the Gaming Commissioner, Mr. Scott Colburn. And now, introducing first, the Blue Corner. At six foot one, weighing in 185.4 pounds, his professional record, 12 victories, just a single defeat, fighting out of Rotterdam, Netherlands, Castello, the Spaniard, Van Steenen. And across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the red corner at six foot one, weighing in 185.3 pounds. As a professional, he stands with 16 victories, four losses by way of Gardendale, Alabama. He fights out of Wilmington, North Carolina. Introducing John Sumter. Let's go, John. Let's go. And the referee in charge of the action, Jason Herzog. Okay, fighters gone over the rules in the back. There were no final questions from you, Blue. There were no final questions from you, Red. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Come out ready to fight. John Salter, Costello Van Steenis. Main event of the evening, right here on Paramount Network. First round, fighter, you ready? Fighter, you ready? Fight! Here we go! Costello comes moving forward quickly. He is in the blue gloves. John Salter in the red gloves, the southpaw. You saw Costello run out to the center to command the center of the cage. It's a smart move by him, and you see the wide base. That will affect his kicks to a point, though. In London, Van Steenis snapped Mike Shipman's 13-fight win streak. Yeah, Mike Shipman had not, he lost his first fight ever and had not lost since that first fight. 13 fights in a row, and boom, two elbows. Deciding factor in that second round of that fight quickly. Nice head kick. Here comes Van Steenis again. Coming after him very hard, very fast. Careful though, that's where you can make the mistake. You've got to remain composed against John Salter because this is where John Salter is best. When he get his hands on you, press you to the fence, this is his world. Salter has finished all 16 professional hey, on, let's wins. Let's cook him, no hurry. Good head Five of his six finishes in Bellator have been in the first round. Five of them by submission. You saw John Salter utilize that outside trip to take Van Steenis down. He's very good with it. It's a technique that he has just perfected when he gets against the cage. And now it's the question of can Van Steenis get to a point of getting himself back to his feet without making that mistake that gives Salter the ability to put in a submission and end this fight. He's in a good spot right here, right now, John. Here's coach. You're right where you want to be. Chip away. Now we're two minutes in. That's a way to chip. Good pressure. What you're seeing, Ben, Steen is sitting on the ground. He's throwing shots up, but there's no way that that transfers to as good a shot as what John Salter is able to do, utilize with his body position and gravity. Adding a coach to the mix, a true head coach, has made a world of difference for John right Salter. There, he said in my screen. third round against Rafael Lovato Jr., right it showed the world that I needed somebody. I started to make bad decisions. The, the flying knee, the jumping elbow thrown yeah, by Lovato Jr., John admitted he panicked. Well, he did, you know, that happens in fights, but you see what he's doing right now. John Salter is forcing Costello Van Steenis to try to get out 
off of the use of that leg. He's, he's turfed his leg, and he knows when Van Steen is, which way he can only go. And when he does, he's going to take his back going into that position. So Salter is just slowly pressing Van Steenis into a position that he can take his back and then try to end this with a choke. And that's Van Steenis saying, oh, no, 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 I see it, and I'm not going to give you what you want. Van Steenis is up. You talked about those elbows, vicious elbows against Shipman. They were with his back against the cage. Well, you already saw earlier in this fight, Costello Van Steenis hurt John Salter. So he knows already, oh, I can hurt you with my hands. I can get my hands on you. I can do damage to you. But he has to get separation. Right now, this fight is working the way John needs it to work. Going for that outside trip again. This time it didn't work. But this is the fight that John Salter needs to win. Van Steenis needs to get that separation. Nice little choke attempt by Van Steenis. You see as Salter comes out to the side, that relieves the pressure on the choke. There is no choke there anymore. Salter has been submitted three times, most recently by the champion. You got to go all the way back to 2010 for the only time he was finished by knockout. That by Gerald Harris, who is here in the building tonight. That's where you want to be. That's where you want to be. 30 seconds in round one. Salter just doing what he does, continuing that pressure. He's not hurting Van Steenis. Van Steenis is trying to punch Salter's hand with his head. But you look and you go, this is exactly the fight that is going to get John Salter that win. Best part of these final seven seconds to start a round two will begin on its feet. Partner, you were perfect. Dial in the words from the corner of John Salter. Buddy, you ready? Fight! Well, they were right. That was the kind of round that John Salter needs throughout this fight. Again, Van Steen is just running to the center of the cage, but he needs to be under control when he launches his attacks. He cannot come forward too fast. That will play into the takedown for John Salter. Round one, 10-9, Salter? Absolutely. Head kick. Costello looked for the flying knee. See it right now, Costello just he stood there like, oh, you're not, you can't hurt me. Get your back off of the cage. Get yourself back to that center position. Start to fight smart. Why would you stay here with John Salter in the top position right now? This is not where you want to be. This is not you fighting a smart fight. Your job is to separate from him, get him back to his feet, move yourself back to the center of the cage. Right now, you're playing into John Salter's role. Nicely done by Salter, grabbing the leg and keeping this fight on the ground. Van Steen has said he has been training with some very good Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belts from the Netherlands. The same group that Gegard Mousasi was training with for his fight with Rafael Lovato Jr. And this right here, normally you're gonna see Van Steenis likes to control when he has that, he sees that wrist that uh, Salter's trying to lace, he's gonna tuck it inside and he tries to roll, but where Salter's at, it's not gonna work for him, and Salter knows that he likes that half Granby roll and is gonna be ready for it and move with it. Working one hook. John Salter's in beautiful position right now. He can take his time, open up with strikes if you want. You don't have to go for the submission. That's what I was talking about. Set your base, get your position, and then go for your submission. Van Steenis has not been defeated since his seventh professional fight nearly four years ago. He is in a very bad spot here. Right now, John doesn't have a choke. He's kind of looking towards a face crank with it. 
It's not there. He's trying to make him uncomfortable. He's decided, I don't want to have both hooks inside. He's going where he's got that half, uh, half guard to the back, which is going to keep him in place. Grab the whole glove, John. You got to grab all three fingers, brother. Yeah, he's got problems. He's got to get rid of that hand quick. He's got to be careful. You make that little mistake, it can end fast for you. He's decided to go back to double hooks with the legs. And Stinas gets rid of it. And Stinas right now should move. He should try to turn into Salter before he gets that leg back in position, which John Salter Now he's got it under the neck, John. It's only a little bit. John Salter should go palm to palm. There you go. He starts to get this choke. It starts to get very tight quickly. Under the chin, pardon me, on the neck. Costello fights it off for now. Nice defense by Van Stinas. They're going to shake him off. Salter can look to go towards the Sulu stretch right here. Unfortunately, he doesn't have his legs in the perfect position. But that Sulu stretch is there for him. All right, let go of it. Good defense by Costello Van Stinas. Salter looking for a triangle. Smart by Costello Van Stinas. Get him back to his feet. Right now, his arms are heavy. His legs are a little bit filled with blood. Van Stinas needs to now start to utilize that great stand-up he has. Look and look at the movement of Salter now, John. Yeah, How it is drastically slowed down. Labored is absolutely the proper turn. So Salter wisely gets it back to the ground. There comes Van Stinas with that, but now he's set up in an arm triangle. Salter's losing the arm triangle, but he's going to come out in the mount position. Ten seconds. John Salter once again the aggressor. Five. Minutes remain. Costello needs to do something, John, right here, right now. Yeah, Costello, in my opinion, he's down two rounds to none, and he needs to just be patient with his stand-up, but effective with it, meaning you've got to reach out and touch him. you just got to figure the right moments and start to create big problems for John Salter because you have to end this fight. Big swing and a miss. Just barely, because right now, Salter's tired from all of that groundwork, trying to utilize the legs, the arms with the choke. He was squeezing hard. Didn't work for him, and so he burned a lot of gas. Caught him with that one. Yeah. John's in trouble here. He is tired, and he's taking shots. And here, this is where Vance needs to settle down. Don't go forward too fast. Be smart in your attacks. Costello said, I think I am a better fighter than him in general. He's probably a better grappler and a better wrestler, but this isn't a grappling or wrestling match. This is a fight. Well, it's, it's been a grappling and wrestling match so far because John Salter has made it such. But now it's up to Van Steenis to say, okay, I let you play your game. Now we're going to play mine, and we'll see what happens. That's my point, partner. Exactly. You're so smart about this. Well, uh, I've, I've been learned very well by you. <laughs> Under three and a half. Van Stinas knows that he needs to do something big here, though. Salter looking towards that outside trip. You see double underhooks, and he is clasping his hands in the overhook position on Van Stinas to more keep Van Stinas close to him than it to try to take him down. Bloodied up a bit, John Salter from some of the strikes here in the first couple of minutes. Oh, that was a this round ball. kick to the that foot hit the solar plex area of John Salter. We call that a ball kick as far as the ball of the foot is what struck the solar plex area. That did not feel good. That's why you see John Salter trying to actually pull down. He's still trying to get air. 
Big right hand by Van Stienis. This is when Van Stienis needs to be smart. Pull yourself back up. Make him stand up. Keep in mind the comment I made earlier that against Rafael Lovato Jr., Salter admitted after a flying knee and a, a jumping elbow that he panicked in the third and final round. Can he stay composed enough here in the final two minutes? And this is what's so hard when you fought Gage such a frustrating Gage fight for you against John Salter. You want to go, I just want to get him. And you need to be composed and smart in your attacks and just know I'm going to get you. That's a heavy kick. We may have to get him if the judges have it scored the same way you do, partner. Well, right now, Van Stienis even has a chance at bringing this into yes. a 10-8 round because yep. he's landed a lot of big, heavy shots. He has hurt John Salter with those shots. He just needs to continue on with that round, but that's going to stop. It's not going to win John Salter the round, but it's going to keep Van Stienis from getting that 10-8. And it's going to stop Van Stienis from kicking Salter in the face in there. <laughs> exactly. Van Stienis needs to put his feet on the hip area and start to push off of Salter. Create space. Get yourself back to your feet. Great binding his legs is only going to keep him on top of you. That's a huge takedown for Salter. Considering how this fight is gone. Absolutely. There you go. Put foot on the hip. You see Salter immediately just passes it in the half guard. This is what, you know, when someone is so good on the ground and they get those opportunities, you put the feet on the hip, you've got to go. You can't wait. And someone like Salter realizes, oh, it's there. I'm going to pass. Now I'm in a better position to hold on to you, keep you down, and get my win. MAIA National Wrestling Champion. Some say half guard when it's a wrestler. I think Turk, and that's what Salter thinks. Turk control, and let's hold on for another 15 seconds. John Salter right now, he's not trying to end this fight. He's just trying to ride it out to the end and get his win. Smart fight by John Salter. John Salter, Costello Van Stienis, a tremendous main event of the evening that goes the distance. Back in 30 seconds to find out who will reign supreme in our middleweight matchup and move one step closer to a potential title shot. Plenty of damage done in the third round that's by all, Van Stienis. That's just about all third round damage that you're seeing. You know, looking at what John Salter did in the first two rounds, he did a great job of putting this fight exactly where he needed to, on the ground, and him in control of the positions for the most part. Every time Van Stienis did something, Salter ended up turning it and bringing him to the ground and putting the fight exactly where he wanted it. Almost got that choke. Van Stienis being tough, having experience, he's able to stop it, pull the hands back, and in the third round, Costello Van Stienis opened up and did a lot of damage to John Salter. And it was that last takedown that I think saved the fight for John Salter. I would think John Salter would agree. As our main event goes the distance, judges are rendering their decision. And here is Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance, in tonight's main event, we'll go to your three judges. Chris Lee, Derek Cleary, Sal D'Amato, all three scored exactly the same, 29 to 28. All have it for the winner by unanimous decision, John Salter. Huge win for John Salter. Survival mode in the final five minutes. He is with Big John McCarthy. I'm here with your winner, John Salter. I know that last round was not the way you wanted this fight to go. 
Talk to me about what you were feeling. What are you talking about? I thought that was perfect. I could really see his fist starting to fade in that third. Uh, I know I might have a few stitches, but uh, he's not able to hold any food after all those shots. You did exactly what you wanted to do, pressing him into the fence, taking him down. Your first two rounds were textbook for your style. The third round, you got that takedown. Do you think that's the difference in this fight? Absolutely. I couldn't keep taking shots like that. He hits like a truck. I mean, probably the hardest I've ever been hitting here. But uh, props to him. What a stud. And I'm uh, just glad I got the win tonight. You did get the win. It was an outstanding win against, as you said, he is a stud. What do you think this should do for you in getting back to that title contention? Uh, we'll see. I saw Rafael around here tonight, talked to him. Probably the guy I respect the most in the sport, but I'd like to fight him again. Well, we would all love to see that. Congratulations on a hard fought and beautiful victory. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for John Salter. So you want to be a mixed martial